I want to show you my garage gym. Check it out. So something funny happened. I was working out in my home garage gym and I have a three-year-old and a 10-month-old or a one-year-old, excuse me, and it just is hard to work out at home. It is, like, right, you get the job done, but when you have just kiddos crying and it just breaks your train of thought. And then I realized, wait a minute, I need a spot that I can work out. But more importantly, I need a spot that I can film workout content and a place that I can be able to, well, I don't know, film more performance oriented and fitness oriented content. So here we are. Now I have a place to film content for you. So I'm just gonna give you a quick tour of why I did what I did, what I have in here, and what it's used for. So we're gonna have a little bit of fun with this. Big shout out also to Torque Fitness. Torque really hooked it up here with some really awesome equipment that you'll see as we go. But we also have some assault bikes, some assault runners, which I'll show you everything. And then a lot of people ask about my GT500. A uh, little bit of just a quick backstory on that. Uh, my father, before he passed away, he, uh, he had an original Shelby GT500, and that was a car that I remember really growing up with, a car that I remember spending a lot of time in, and I remember that as like his prized possession. He was a vintage car dealer, so I always had a lot of old cars. So this is sort of my modern testament to him. So I'm not a big, big, like flashy guy. I don't put my cars in my videos a lot, but this guy lives here, and it's kind of a cool theme to have the muscle car, along with everything set up. So if you do want me to see a specific video talking about my car or showing a walk around and showing a test drive, I'm happy to do that. I don't typically throw that kind of content on my channel, but I need to hear from you. Just put it down in the comment section below. I'm happy to film that kind of video. Okay, so first and foremost, regular old rack. This is a torque half rack that's built into a special what's called X-Create system. Now, there's nothing super fancy here, but what I do like about kind of the more modern barbells is there are a lot that you can use these thin bar barbells, which are a little bit easier when it comes down to doing uh, Olympic type moves and moving fast. I'm also a fan of using fat bars too for different things with the grips. So there's nothing really crazy to show here, but you know what's wild? Okay, if you have the ceiling space, being able to have a wall ball target makes a world of a difference. So for example, if I'm just gonna show you something really light, being able to actually have a target versus just throwing straight up allows you to utilize a different angle within your shoulder. So if I was just doing a squat thruster and coming up, I'm pressing straight up and straight down. Catching straight down like this can get a little bit hard and it gets a little bit tough on your lower lats and it pulls a lot of tension that can sometimes upset your lower back. So actually having a target to push forward to makes a different ball game. So you're actually pushing forward a little bit more, getting more chest activation. I never in a million years thought that a ball target would be effective, but the last couple of years of messing around with them, it's been a game changer. So, okay, then as we move along here, different pull-up bar variations. One thing that I have learned in time is that a straight bar for pull-up variations, although fun and although a little bit more practical for when you're doing a typical pull-up, can really wreak some havoc on the shoulder. So having some different angles here is really important when you're building a home gym, just to think about those kind of things. Think about the natural supination, think about the natural angle of your shoulders and test some things out because depending on how you are, you might have this internal rotation or possibly an external rotation of your shoulder. And it's just something to pay attention to. Another thing that I wanna mention is don't constantly try to correct your posture. Okay, there's been some great videos out there on YouTube that talk about that. Like, we injure ourselves more when we try to correct our posture. Okay, you need to work within your natural posture and you need to make natural, subtle changes so that your biomechanics get better. So just pay attention to that stuff. Work ergonomically and then inch yourself forward into better moves. Okay, then of course I've just got regular kettlebells. Now you've seen in some of my videos and you might have seen on my workout channel called Garage Built Life, which I'll link to down below because I don't post that content on this channel much. Okay, I'm a huge fan of kettlebells. I do all kinds of different kettlebell variations. Now, moving into this guy, this is called a landmine. And if you could have one piece of equipment, I don't know, I say that a lot, but I really do think that out of its, I don't know, top three to five pieces of equipment to have in a gym now, I do think it's that if you have the space. Um, let me show you really quick. So the thing about a landmine is it allows you to do all kinds of different movements while still being able to maintain a degree of stability. So for example, you could do a an RDL, like a single leg deadlift, okay, different variations. Normally, if you're holding a dumbbell or a kettlebell, let me show you something. Depending on how you do it, you might be a little bit wobbly, right? 
you might not be able to stabilize and you might be able to end up using too much of your glute to try to stabilize or you might be wobbly. But doing this with a landmine allows you to really lean into it. See, look how much more stable I am. Not that you always want stability, but the point is for really being able to get a movement down and get that full range of motion, but also work a muscle through its stretch position, not just through a mid-range position. This thing really makes it handy. Another thing is you can do all kinds of different deadlift variations, right? So if I had, let's say, just a weight that was on here, in this case, I'm gonna make it easy with a kettlebell, but I can sink in to a deadlift position much easier, really sink back into those glutes. Whereas normally, if I did that, what would happen if I sank back? Let me show you. I'd sink back and I'd fall backwards. So it allows you to have that extra stability that seems like it's weak, but it's not. It's allowing you to work through that full stretch position. Another key component of any home gym, okay, is going to be any kind of sandbag. These are specific, uh, they're called torpedo bags from Torque Fitness. These are great as an entry level. I got these because these are gonna be perfect for filming content, okay? So don't get me wrong. I like to play with heavier bags, but these are great because just all kinds of different handles. So depending on what you've got, like I could do, oh, let me do a flip. Let me do some kind of press and then wait a minute, I wanna slam it. You know, you beat the heck out of it. You can kick it, you can whatever, okay? So these are just really effective for functional moves. Now, another thing that I've talked about in my home gym video is the degree of slam balls are very powerful. Power is only going to be generated when the muscle knows how to move through force, right? It has to, but you also have to be able to generate power in a stretched position because a lot of us, if we're doing a bicep curl, we might generate a lot of power here, but are we generating a lot of power here? No, we're in a very vulnerable position here. So we need to train our muscles to still be able to generate power there. But how do we do that? Through explosive plyometric style movements. So med ball slams, everything like that, where you just are saying, okay, I'm gonna pop up, boom, and go into that high stretch position. Pop up and slam, right? Pop up and slam. And you don't even have to go heavy. You go light and you build that explosivity and you build up the weight as you go, okay? These are just a different kind of ball. These are more wall ball style, which I can show you a little bit in a second. But for all intents and purposes, you can do a lot with these and also with these. I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on this because I've talked about them in other videos. These are called BFR bands. Okay, blood flow restriction training, which deserves its entire own video because it is a very specific style of training. But I bring them into this video because if you are limited, where you can only have some kettlebells or maybe you can only have some dumbbells or a couple weights, blood flow restriction training makes it so that you can strap these cuffs on that cut off a little bit of your blood flow to make it so that you get a more extreme pump. Basically what you're doing is you're blocking the venous returns. So you're allowing arterial blood flow, but you're blocking the venous return, allowing more lactic acid to build up or lactate in this case. And that's going to be a stronger hypertrophic muscle building response, which is very, very important. This is one little thing that I was really on the fence about getting. <laughs> it is so awesome. It is a manual pulley system. And they make these in all kinds of different ways. Like this is again, this is the torque fitness attachment for this one, but it allows us, okay, we need to do any kind of different variation, which may seem like it's a shoulder move and it is going to get a lot of rear delt activation. So full disclaimer, I don't expect you to get all of this stuff, okay? Torque Fitness was generous enough to help provide me with this for the sake of being able to create content. Okay, I understand that not everyone is going to go out and build a big grandiose gym. If you can, great. But I'm hoping that you take bits and pieces from this and learn, hey, I could use that. That works well. Oh, Thomas has that. That's something that I really need, okay? This allows me to create content. It doesn't mean you need everything here, okay? So if you're someone that's working on a lot of rear delt development or you're trying to build your back, this is one of the best pieces of equipment. It is just, it's an upper body cardio machine, but it also allows me to get that scapular retraction that I normally wouldn't get if I was just doing a regular pull down because my traps would get in the way. Here, I'm pulling down in a very natural motion, but in a flash, I can turn it into a little bit more of a core move. See, by simply flexing my hip flexors and by putting myself into this flexion state, now all of a sudden I'm using core, still using shoulders and back, 
but I'm stabilized and I have no choice but to kind of lean forward into it. That's just two ways that you can use it. You could look up online a million different ways to use an endless rope. This is a cool thing that Torque Fitness has. Uh, I don't use a lot of cable machines, but the real reason that I wanted this was to be able to do a little bit more reciprocal moves. I'm a big fan of working what's called reciprocation. So if I have my left arm extended and my right arm retracted, the further that I retract my right arm, the more I naturally, just through the different forms of the nervous system, I extend my left arm. I pull that right arm back, my left goes more, okay? Same the other side. So although you might see someone in the gym doing something like this, looking crazy, they might be doing it wrong, but doing moves like that is a great way to, once again, train the nervous system. Quick note, this video is brought to you by Thrive Market. If you wanna check them out down below in the description, it is an awesome, awesome, membership-based online grocery store. So whether you are doing keto, paleo, fasting, whatever, you can get your groceries delivered right to your doorstep. Super easy, super convenient, and the best part is a lot of times it's less expensive than the grocery store. Like my father-in-law started doing keto. He's lost 50 pounds since January, which is awesome. I'm so proud of him. And I just turned him on to Thrive Market. But then he's doing keto and he's like, well, I want some brownie mixes. I want fun stuff. And so he wants to have some variety. Point is, personal story, but that's the kind of thing that happens at Thrive Market. You get going on something, you get to use it. Highly recommend it. And there's a special link for people that watch my videos. That way you can get a free gift when you sign up with Thrive Market. But also you can just check them out down below in the description after this video. All right, let's keep moving on. What is this? Well, there's one major thing that drives my OCD crazy and that is that the three is crooked and I need to fix that. Okay, but this is just a wall, a slam wall. And remember how I was talking about these. These are slam balls. So I can do things like, oh, I just wanna throw a ball really hard against a wall. And this is something, if you have a concrete wall or anything, obviously that'll work. Okay, I didn't wanna throw the ball against like kind of the sheet metal stuff here. But, you know, again, I can do any kind of like side toss, right? Point is, that gets my heart rate up. Then, uh, again, we have more bands. Obviously an important thing. Something that I think every home gym should have is a speed rope, minimal investment that is worth every penny. Different forms of bands. These bands are a little bit more, uh, like you can use them for attaching to benches and making some more uh, uh, resistance at the top range of a movement. So if I was doing a bench press, I could tie bands around the bottom you know, and do a movement like that. So these are really good for, again, if you're working that end range and you need to work on supination, you need to work on anything like that. So we can go, you know, quick moves or we can go reverse flies, anything like that. Again, minimal investment, but I highly recommend it. You don't wanna train with just resistance bands, okay? If you train with just resistance bands, you're gonna end up kind of having an underdeveloped low range and an overdeveloped kind of in range depending on what body part you're working. Okay, these are dumbbells. These are again, just more slam balls, just heavier weights. Uh, I do think that everyone should have one heavy slam ball. Heavy is relative. How heavy do you wanna go? Whatever. I think like 90 pounds is a good weight. If you've seen my home gym video, I got one that goes up to 150 and I'm like, I think it's a joke. I can't even do anything with it. I can pick it up and put it down. Uh, sometimes I put it on my chest to pop my back. <laughs> That's about it. But 90 pounds seems to be a great number because it's something that I feel like, okay, I could just do some really cool, just bear grabs and bear hugs and things like that that are just very functional. Like if I ever, when my son, he's three and a half, gets to be, I don't know, maybe 10 years old and I need to wrestle him to the ground because he's being a punk, then this is gonna train me for that and I've got a few years to do that. But anyway, just things like this, like pick it up, <clears throat> take my son, throw him over my shoulder, you know, whatever. That's the point, just all functional stuff. But also just bear hugs, right? How do I just hold this? Walk around. <laughs> it sounds so funny. I am that weird guy, but I encourage you to be that weird guy too. Okay, then we move in. Well, of course, there's a heavy bag, which I have it mounted right here as a swivel. And what'll happen is if I'm actually gonna do any kickboxing, which I'm not very good at, I will move the car out, hang the bag up and play around with it. One of my favorite things in the gym is this Assault Fitness Air Runner. Different forms of curved treadmills. I like the Assault Runner more than the Woodway. The Woodway seems to me to have a steeper curve. The thing I don't like about the steeper curve is when you are sprinting, it is forcing you on your toes too much, which is okay. 
I like pushing off the toes, but we also need to accept our natural gait pattern. This is a much smoother or less, I don't know, intense curve. So the assault runner is great because it forces me to still run in somewhat of a natural movement where I'm landing how I would normally land if I was running on pavement. I don't want to train myself to only run uphill. If you have a steep curve, that's great. You're going to get a great workout. But then I'm never getting that lengthening of the hamstring. You noticing a common theme here? Working a muscle through its entire range. So in this, it's really a pretty shallow curve. So I could run and actually still heel strike if I wanted to. So I could, it really does mimic a pretty natural motion. And that's why I'm a fan of this one. This is not variable resistance, okay? It is all body weight. It is all just self-propelled. So really cool if you're into that. That is uh, a piece of equipment that I feel like if you were doing high intensity interval training, you would really want to consider. And then you might be kind of looking around and be like, what are the monkey bars for? A lot of it is really for show. When I designed this, I'm like, I want a jungle gym. Like I want to be able to park a car in here and have it look cool. But then I realized when I started playing around in here, have you ever done some monkey bars as an adult? <laughs> Like, what the heck happened? Like, when I was a kid, I used to just rip across these things and swing and skip bars and whatever. Then you start hanging from it as an adult and you're like, uh, am I gonna pop my shoulder out of my socket? Like, it's so difficult. But then, it's also cool because, let's say I wanted to do some different pull-up variations. I could say, okay, let's go, you know, pull up here. And then, ah, I want a different feel. So then I could kind of switch in to the middle and I could get more rhomboid action. And then let's say, oh, I wanted to make this a little bit different. So all kinds of different pull-up variations that are quite honestly more natural, different grips, different things. Um, this is set up, again, if you have the luxury of having just a board where you can have some stuff like this, this is not just to like climb up. I mean, that's cool and all, but this is so you can set up bands and do different things, but it's also a stretch post, like being able to, okay, I need to go to different angles to be able to stretch. So you have all kinds of different things here. Then I have another landmine here, which doesn't really matter. These are called rec bags, which are just big old sloppy bags that I can beat the heck out of. <laughs> okay, so I can just throw them, hit them, whatever. This, just so you know, is just another squat rack, obviously. Uh, this is Torx Home Edition, and I mention it in here because if you're looking for like a value-driven squat rack to have in your home, this is a really good one from Torx. And then now, this is something I really want to show you. This is cool. This is called the Tank. This is a weighted magnetic resistance sled. Okay, that's Tommy's sled that he plays with when I do this, but let me show you. So I put it in neutral. It's all magnetic resistance. So put it in neutral just to wheel it out. Need to do some sled pushes, throw a little weight on there, drop it down to three so it's heavy, and then I'm just gonna go to town. Just hit my sled pushes. I wanna go a little bit more for speed, maybe go to two. Or if I really want to go fast and work on my sprinting, I can drop it down to one and just work that end range. And that's the nice thing. It's so light. Let's flip it around. So if you've got space outside, I would recommend getting one of these. Because where else can you do sleds? Got rope attachments, so I can do battle rope pulls, anything like that. It's just a lot of fun. All right, let's head upstairs. Yes, there's more. This is the plyo box, obvious stuff, battle rope. Plyo box also serves as a great baby gate. So if I'm having the kiddos run around in here and I don't want Emma, my almost one year old, to head upstairs, which she loves to do, then, hey, you gotta learn to jump, kiddo, before you can get up there. The nice thing is, to get to the cardio room, you gotta do cardio. You gotta go up the stairs. Look, at this is nothing special up here yet. Uh, you can see I've got my stand-up desk. This is where I'm going to spend a lot of time working. <laughs> so I like to be able to get out of the house a little bit. And this is cool, because it's just kinda, got it at Costco. But that way, stand-up desk, stand-up, whatever. Look, you don't need to have this elaborate office. I'm telling you, seriously. I, I came out of the private equity world. I came out of, like, I used to have this, big old desk, big old credenza, and all this stuff, and like to make me feel special and make me feel important, you realize that 
all that's doing is creating a layer for you to be sedentary. I suggest you create a layer for you to get moving, okay? Create your office to have a little spot with your desk and then put a rower, put an assault bike. You motivate yourself to get moving. If you were in a spa like this and working in a spa like this, you would probably just get down and play every once in a while, go swing on the monkey bars. Because the best movement for your posture is the next movement. Okay, whether you're standing up or sitting down, being frozen in a position is not good. You should jump around, you should do different things, you should move your posture, you should move whatever. Okay, so keeping it simple, this is probably where I'll do a lot of stretching, mobility work, things like that. This is called an assault rower or an air rower. This is just like one of the Concept2 rowers, except it's chain driven and it's a little bit different in that the fan resistance allows it to get tougher as you row harder. Uh, I've played around with both, two very different feels. Nothing fancy to it other than the fact that it's chain driven versus uh, the way the concept stuff is. And I'm not opposed to concept equipment. Like in this case, I've got a concept skier, which I also have in my home gym. And I just find that this is one of the best pieces of cardio equipment because where else are you actually getting full range body movement? Now, you don't need to go as heavy as most people think they do. When you're doing a skier, you should be going into a full triple extension, almost like you're doing uh, well, just that, a triple extension. So you come down, squat, and up. See how I'm coming up onto my toes. It should kick your butt. It is a brutal, brutal machine. And then we have the Assault Fitness Rower. At my home, I have a Rogue Rower. I have an Echo Bike, which is a fun bike and it's really great. But I like the Assault Bike because ergonomically, it's a little bit closer. The handles are a little bit closer together. So I don't feel like I get as much trap activation. And again, it's chain driven versus belt driven. So it's just a different feel altogether. I like both, but in this gym, I'm going with the assault just because it feels more practical for what I'm doing. Um, and that really pretty much sums it up. If you take a look, it's pretty much complete. So again, if you want to see me do more content surrounding my workout videos, surrounding my cars, surrounding things like that, let me know. Post it down below in the comment section because I need to know what you want to see. And again, I'm not just going to throw content out for content's sake, but I did feel like this was practical and was worth mentioning. So once again, big thank you to Thrive Market, big thank you to Torque and also Assault for making this all possible. And I will see you in the next video.